Here we go again. We're back. And we're here today doing the Leitrim Way. We started in Dara this morning. We're only a few kilometers out right now. The Leitrim Way was something that was redeveloped recently as part of the Bear Brefney Way. It only reopened towards the end of 2019. There is an additional section that runs from Dara to Manor Hamilton and that is closed currently. So we're not doing the full 48 or 56 kilometers of the Leitrim Way. We're only doing the part that's part of the Bear Brefney Way. So last week we finished up in Dara as part of the cabin way and we continued onwards. Oh, here we go. So uh, maybe one of the complaints that we have seen or heard from other people who have done the Bear Brefna Way or parts of the Leitrim Way in the past was that it was like all on road as it was under development. So like I think anyone who tried to do the Bear Brefna Way before probably didn't have a great experience of the Leitrim Way or what was there instead of it. So now we're treated to the complete opposite as if uh, the people who made the Leitrim Way listened very much and now we're just uh, in fields. So. That's good too. There are many, many of them. Uh, usually dedicated to Patrick or Mary. This one has a uh, no dedication, so I can presume it's ancient. <laughs> Use. So we're about a third through our walk. We're right next to Hughes, St. Hughes Well, St. Mm -hmm. Hughes Well, St. Hughes Well. There's a nice little picnic area, so we took it upon ourselves to have a break. Absolutely. Um, Angus wandered up to the sweat house nearby as well, an old ancient, ancient sweat house. Yeah, I think we're building one myself. What do people used to use it for? 
basically like a sauna, essentially. Yeah, if they were sick or... Yeah, or like replacement for like washing themselves. People used to just like sweat loads and then take a dip, I think. They were like, get themselves real clean. We walked past the sweat house on the cabin way as well, but we completely, we just missed it. We were too busy trying to get out of the rain. Yeah, very rainy at the time. We got lost as well around the same time. So it didn't help. The weather has been pleasant, only drizzled a bit. The we... route itself is pretty, it's, it's quite nice actually, it's very pleasant. Well, very, very well signposted in comparison to other places. And uh, you're kind of walking along a bit of old farmhouses and old stone walls and that kind of thing. It's nice enough. You can tell that it's new. They've put a lot of work into it. We haven't walked on very much road since we've been here, but we know that the next stretch, the next nine or 10 kilometers to Drumshambo is going to be primarily on boat rings or little roads. Should be grand. Should be great. Should be superb. And the next break will be in Jim Shambo. This walk is incredibly straight. Like, so straight. Surprise, go straight. Seems to be some public toilets that are still in use today. Quite a rare sight in Ireland. Middle of Drumshambo. Nice. Cool place. How many outdoor swimming pools are in Ireland? One. <laughs> it's a day for ducks. 100% completion. That's the one I want anyway. <laughs> we haven't gotten our bear breaking away passports. We're very, very sad. But we are currently in Drumshambo. We have about eight, nine kilometers left of the Leitrim Way. Quite like Drumshambo actually. It's a nice place. We stopped and had some coffee and some tea. The only reason we really know about Drumshambo prior to this is that our brother went to a few music festivals out here. Traditional music festivals now, playing the Elm Pipes. We're about to do the Blue Way. Yeah. A floating boardwalk. Let's get started.
Yeah, no, so we're finished the Leitrim way now. Yeah, that's great. What about uh, another better walk, let's say? I think we could probably split it into three sections. The first being from Dara to Hugheswell, where you definitely need hiking boots. You walk through a lot of farmland. The next section is kind of primarily on straight road. Don't really need hiking boots. No. And then the last section, you don't need hiking boots either from Trimshanbo to the Legion Village. No, definitely not. It was a great walk. Like it could be a good intro walk to somebody maybe who doesn't want to do a lot of hills. There are a few hills, it's a little bit lofty, but Gentle. Yeah. And, uh, and straight, hard Gentle. to get lost. Straight, very difficult to get lost, very well waymarked. Lots of new waymarks out there as well, so it's it's quite new. I enjoyed it, I'm not as sore as I was from the cabin way, it wasn't as hard as the cabin way. And uh, looking forward to doing the miner's way next. <laughs> yeah, the strenuous one. Yeah.